That's my mama. Go mama. Oh, oh God, it's so good that I get to have this moment with you. And you fly in a mother. Hey, yo, mom, mom. So it looks like Sean Diddy Combs' mother, Janice Combs, is breaking her silence and reacting to how the media has been portraying her son. Welcome back to the Kempire Channel, your number one source for pop culture news and music, entertainment, reality TV, and so much more. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. So slow, slowly but surely, more and more people have been mentioning Janice Combs and what did she know? Or did she know anything at all? Well, it was just... Back in July, the TMZ reported that Janice Combs had been hospitalized. This was when Diddy was still out of jail. And they reported that she was suffering from chest pains. They said Janice Combs was rushed to a hospital uh, that week after she c complained about discomfort in her chest, according to sources close to Diddy. It's still unclear exactly what caused the pain, but we're told she's going to remain in the hospital for at least another day. So according to their sources, they say that Diddy was in Miami at the time, this is when he was free, and at his mom's request, went to the hospital to be by her side. TMZ's told that Janice believes that the pain is related to the stress over her son's legal woes, including the federal investigation and multiple civil lawsuits. So as you may recall, in the bail hearing, we knew that Janice Combs lives in Miami and has a home in Miami. It was one of the homes that Diddy put up for his bail. The last that we reported to you, Diddy, was aiming for a third bail hearing. This is after the judge that was overseeing his case decided to step down due to a schedule conflict, which has opened up another opportunity for Sean Diddy Combs to seek bail yet again. A lot of legal experts do not believe that he will be approved for it, despite putting up $40, $50 million in bond and giving over the passports of his young daughters. Janice Combs lives in Miami, but at her own residence, not with her son, who she famously raised on her own. At the time, she was seen spending time with him in Miami in the months since the federal raids on his homes. For several weeks, Diddy circled the wagons and really only spent time with family members, just like Janice and his kids. So in an exclusive release to a local news station, Janice Combs wrote a full statement addressing all the accusations against her son. So her statement reads like this. Janice Small Combs, the mother of Sean Combs, through her undersigned counsel and on behalf of the Combs family, released the following statement. Is this really coming from Janice Combs or is this coming out at perfect time right before Diddy decides to seek bail a third time? Everything is strategic and everything is never what it appears to be, especially when it comes to these entertainers. So this is what Janice Combs allegedly says in her statement. I come to you today as a mother that is devastated and profoundly saddened by the allegations made against my son, Sean Combs. It is heartbreaking to see my son judge, not for the truth, but for a narrative created out of lies. To bear witness what seems to be like a public lynching of my son before he has had the opportunity to prove his innocence is a pain too unbearable to put into words. Like every human being, my son deserves to have his day in court to finally share his side and to prove his innocence. Sidebar, we all saw the Cassie tape, so he's not that innocent. I am not here to portray my son as perfect because he is not. He has made mistakes in the past as well as, as, as we all have. My son may not have been entirely truthful about certain things, such as denying he has ever gotten violent with an ex-girlfriend when the hotel surveillance showed otherwise. Sometimes the truth and a lie become so closely intertwined that it becomes terrifying to admit one part of the story especially when that truth is outside the norm or is too complicated to, to be believed. This is why I believe my son's civil legal team opted to settle the ex-girlfriend's lawsuit instead of contesting it until the end. I really believe that this is coming from Diddy's team and counsel because they're also not mentioning Cassie's name. Technically, Janice Combs could mention her name unless it was in the NDA. 
Because you remember what Aubrey O'Day revealed in him trying to give back the publishing rights to some of his former artists. There was an, an NDA that said, yeah, you can't disparage myself, my mother, or anyone else. Any claims or wrongdoings or actions prior to the date of the release, I have to sign an NDA that I will never disparage Puff, Bad Boy, Janice Combs, or Justin Combs. Which made us go, why did he say her mother? What is her involvement in his business and his career and his artists? So uh, she continues, she said, this is why I believe my son's civil legal team opted to settle the ex-girlfriend's lawsuit instead of contesting it until the end, resulting in a ricochet effect as the federal government uses decision against my son by interpreting it as an admission of guilt. Do you think the reason why your son settled so quickly wasn't just because there is a lot of evidence and a lot of evidence that she put in that lawsuit that's now being used by the feds? It's important to recognize that none of us, regardless of our status, are immune to fear or mistakes. Agreed. Not being entirely straightforward about one issue does not mean my son is guilty of the repulsive allegations and the grave charges leveled against him. Many individuals who were wrongfully convicted and later exonerated had their freedom taken from them, not because they were guilty of the crimes that they were accused of, but because they didn't fit the image of what society considers to be, quote, a good person. History has showed us how individuals can be wrongfully convicted due to their past actions or mistakes. She's not lying. And like I said, I feel like this statement is well crafted to be sort of the precursor for his third bail hearing. Watching the world make jokes and laugh at my son's life crumbling before our eyes is something I can never forget. It's, I mean, I can only understand. I mean, she is the mother of this, this, this person that people say that has been a devil in their lives, has tormented them for decades. But she is his mother. And to see that they came from nothing and he built an empire off the backs of artists and god only knows what else but i get it she saw him build this empire and now it feels like this empire that protects and takes care of her is crumbling she says it's truly agonizing to watch the world turn against my son so quickly and easily over lies and misconceptions without ever hearing his side or affording him the opportunity to present his side these lies thrown at him are motivated by those seeking financial gain and not justice. These individuals saw how quickly my son's civil t legal team settled his ex-girlfriend's lawsuit so they believe they can receive a quick payday by falsely accusing my son. That can be true. However, the feds also confiscated some recordings, pow, pow, pows with the uh, serial numbers erased off it. That's against the law, madam. And some other stuff, you know, the thousand bottles of lube and baby oil that people believe was laced with something. I, the feds have not confirmed that. False allegations of SA thwart true victims of sexual violence from getting the justice they deserve. To make matters worse, the federal government is now using these lies to persecute my son. This injustice has been unbearable for our family. The worst of part of this ordeal is watching my beloved son be stripped of his dignity, not for what he did, but for what people chose to believe about him. I ask his, his supporters, fans, colleagues, friends, and the public to not judge him before you had the chance to hear his side. I beg you to think about who has been wrongfully persecuted to remember that not everyone who has made mistakes in life deserves to have their entire existence judged by a single action or a few mistakes. Which one is it? A single action or a few mistakes? They always have to address the video because that's the one thing that they can't deny because we've all saw it on video recording. Although Diddy's attorney did try to spin that video. And that's just one example. We've heard things over the years. We've seen things on Making With The Band that, of course, today we look back and we're like, you know what? That wasn't right. She says, my son is not the monster they have painted him to be, and he deserves a chance to tell his side. He does deserve the chance. He will be able to tell his side. She says, I can only pray that I'm alive to see him speak his truth 
and been and be vindicated. Ooh, they're really laying it on thick. They're laying it on thick. Respectfully submitted on behalf of Janice Small Combs and the Combs family. She did not write this letter. She probably approved this letter. She did not write it. A PR team, legal team, gathered this information together and put her name on it because it's coming from his mother right before a bail hearing. I just don't see that working. Again, some people are looking at Janice Combs like, what did you know? What exactly was your involvement in any of this stuff and why he turned out the way that he turned out? Maybe. Or is she just another innocent bystander, very much like Diddy's children? Guys, as always, I want to know your reaction to Sean Diddy Combs' mother, Janice Combs, releasing a statement via her legal counsel. Let's continue this conversation in the comment section. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. Thanks for watching. Ooh, you bring the lighter, I got the fuse, you make a fire.